already know what it is. The Young Dude yeah. Morning Show with JD. Rosie I. Holding you down. We got the homie Uptown Easy in uh-huh. the building right now. Yeah. Yes, sir. What's up, yeah. homie? You already know, man. Um, we had some, some trouble getting here. Yeah, huh? man. It's been a rough morning this morning, man. Shouts out to the... Uh, Public transportation oh, situation in Philadelphia. Scepter is crazy. Oh my goodness, You said man. somebody had a seizure I, on the joint. Somebody stuff? had a seizure on the joint, man. I'm like, <laughs> look, I'm thinking, I'm getting over. Like, all right, you know, it ain't gonna be no parking down there. You know, catch the train. You know, see a little scenery early uh, in the morning. None of that. Oh man, somebody had a Rick Ross. On oh the train. my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> exactly. What's up, man? How you? You already know, man. You no. Know? Making right here, we music. living it. You know what I mean? Every Temple, time I baby. see you, every time I see you on Twitter, you in the studio, man. Yeah, man, working, man. I got uh, some joints coming this summer. Yeah, I got some good, good things coming this summer, man. Yeah, man, we on the lookout for that. Um, Rosie, yeah, let me tell you, I reached out to this man. I said, yo, I need. I, at, first of all, he's the only one that I reached out to. I could have reached out to like three or four people right. and said, yo, I need an intro, and 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 three or four people could have sent me back an intro, and I could have <laughs> picked which one I wanted. But I didn't even do that. You I didn't think easy. Right. Yes, I didn't even do that. I said. I went to this man, I said, I know he's going to deliver me a banger, yes. and he's the only one that I went to. Wake up, wake up. And let me tell you, let me tell you, this man work ethic is crazy. This man had it back to me the next day. Was it the next day? It was, was the it? same day. Yes. It was yes. that night. And it was that night. Yo, this man sent night. me, what was that, like 3 a.m. or something, something? 3 in the morning, oh, man. Oh, man. Yo. <laughs> 3 a.m. Like, gang, yo, man. This man crazy. got it on lock. If everybody in the industry was like that... Like, oh man, like stuff. Shout, it would be, shout it would, out to my engineer. It would man. just be crazy. What's up with the flyers, man? You already know, man. We got we got the uh, super loud dope fest concerts coming okay, this okay. summer. Tell us about that. Um, it's gonna be. Just like the In The Fly With Trust concerts, but it's going to be outdoors, man. We're bringing the California feel to it. Okay. You know, we're going to have all outdoor events this summer. Mm-hmm. Um, similar to, like, our own, you know what I mean, Coachella. Like, right, we're going right, to have right. bands come out this summer. We're going to have a couple bands come out. We're going to have artists from, you know, from Scorp the Boy to... Man, listen, we're going to have Scorp the Boy come out, I know, at one joint. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to deal with Chill Moody on one. Um... Shouts out to Chill. Yeah, shouts out to Chill, man. We're going to have some fun this summer, man. That's what we already know. know. We're going to hit this road up, too, uh, man. Yeah, you told me you was going to uh, Cali, right? You going to Cali? Yeah, man, we're going to Cali, man. Oh, End of okay. this month. going to be out there for a couple weeks. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? Work uh, and pleasure. Yes, work and work. More work than pleasure. <laughs> After the work is done, then we can have all the fun we want, man. You got, wh- how you feel about these Philly rappers, man? Just, just tell, let, me, let me know. Yeah, I, 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 I want to hear your opinion on this. I feel like we 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 lack in creativity. Uh-huh. Like I don't think there's nothing wrong with the bars. I mean, because you in Philly, like everybody can rap. Right, That's right. nothing. But creativity, you know, the way the labels is looking at us, man, it's just like Meek was the cream of the crop. That's how right, they feel. Right, right, right. You know. But I I think it's I think it's whack, man. Honestly, I think, I think it's so. terrible. The state of hip hop in Philly right now. Right. Uh. So. Um, you gotta, you gotta bring it back. Offend, sorry if I offended anybody. That's that's my intentions. <laughs> yeah, like, you, you, told me, you told me last time a lot of people get offended if you don't like their music. Yeah, man. And like you can't even have your opinion no more. Some yeah, people, I'm you know, terrible. I'm terrible with that because um, I like to keep it 100 with people. Like, mm-hmm. like everybody says that. Oh, I'm the realest person. But like, I'll tell you if I don't like it because right, right. I don't want you to feel like. Oh yeah, man, that's my man, and he really supporting what I'm doing. I'm gonna support what you're doing, but if it sounds bad, I'm gonna let you know because <laughs> everybody well. else, yeah, yeah, everybody else will wait till you leave out the room to tell you it's bad. Yeah, you know, and I just tell you why I think it's bad. But you know, that's a, that gets that gets turned upside down all the time, man. Rob Lowe, what's up with the team? Yeah, man, you know, MC Rob Lowe got the. Mm-hmm. Got the videos on on YouTube, thirty thousand views and better. That's what's up. I mean, he working real heavy. Got a uh, got a couple meetings coming up. Uh, Roots producer Rick Frederick. Um, he just finished the joint with him. So like, we working, man. We using our plugs. We working with a lot of producers right now because mm-hmm. it's like. That's how you get your foot really, really right, in the right, door. Right. When somebody can respect our work ethic. That's what everybody, any label, any management situations, they all love our work ethic. You know? Then do you so, do you have one producer that you particularly just work with? You know how like Wiz got his own producer, and you know everybody got they, you know, and Drake got his uh, he got, got forty. You know what I'm saying? So you had that one producer that you just um, well, went to for a banger. I got a, uh, like I told you before, the production team is four of them. It's a four-headed monster. You're right, right. So I, I can go to any one of them. You know, I can go to J.O., I can go to Rob Lowe, I can go to my man Vince Chase. That's a temple boy right there. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I could go to E Money. I could really just go to any one of them, and they'll tell her make a beat around my sound. Like that's why Wiz is, is so comfortable in what he's doing because he got a team of people around him. He got Sledger and he got Cardo. He got a bunch of different producers in his team that they just sit down and they tailor make beats for him. Mm-hmm. So I can, you know, I don't really go outside the team too much, man. I'm a family guy. Who's who's your favorite artist to work with? Mm. My favorite artist to work with. Hands down, gotta be uh, my boy MC Rob Lowe. Mm-hmm. Like that's because it's family. But outside of family, I like working with. Um, I don't know if you ever heard of this dude's name, Sir the Investment. Yeah, I heard him. Yeah, um, I like working with him a lot because the chemistry is there. Like we don't have to do too much writing and all that. Like mm-hmm. once the beat is on, we the chemistry just goes. Let's go ham. Like, yeah, <laughs> exactly. All right, so before you walk in, we talk about this whole Trayvon Martin thing. Um, first of all, let me get your taste on that. What you what you think about that? Oh, man. I just got finished talking about this last night, man. I feel like, you know, treat it the same way you would with anybody. Mm-hmm. It shouldn't have to go through all of this media coverage for this man to go to jail. You know what I mean? I feel like we can use common sense here that yeah. even if it was self-defense, if it was a law in Florida or whatever, I know people who live in Florida. I actually know somebody who went through a similar situation like that, and they sat in jail until the case was over. Right. You know what I mean? I feel like I don't wish jail on anybody, but I feel like that man should at least have to sit there just for the family's sake. Right. You know what right. I mean? Just until it's over. And just to prove his case. Like, just if you, the, uh, yeah. it's no problem. No problem. We, you can plead self-defense, right. but you're going to plead that at trial. Yeah. Exactly. You're not going to be walking around, going to the store, doing uh, what you want to yeah. do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I bet you this. He would be a lot more comfortable if he was in jail. He don't know who's mad at him out here. Yeah, right. <laughs> at least the, if he... the, uh, new African Black Panthers got a price on his head. Yeah, yeah. I think like 10, 10, 10K or something. Like that. <laughs> yeah, he hot now. He started his own website. Yeah. PayPal. Well, uh, yeah, so he, he asking all his supporters to send him some money because he had to quit his job, leave school, and do all if that. If anybody sent him money, man, I pray for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, do, what do you think is going to happen if uh, he doesn't get put away? What do you think the people he better are going to do? They're going right. They're going right down there, man. Uprising, right? Yeah, yeah. it's going. It's going to go down to Sanford. Um, my man, he lives outside of uh, outside of Tampa. I mean, outside of Sanford in another small county in Orlando. Mm-hmm. And he said it's bad down there. Like they, like they not even rioting. They just boycotting certain stuff. Like and they just marching every day. I can imagine. I, well, can, I can only imagine because it's like to the family of Trayvon Martin, man. I can only imagine y'all pain. I think, uh, but what, what I was telling Rosie I before uh, we went to that uh, throwback joint of the day was the prosecutor. She said that she don't need a grand jury, so people was looking at that as she could hand out a um, a decision this week saying that whether or not she want to charge Trayvon, I mean, charge uh, Zimmerman or not. Right. So I don't see what's taking her so long. Her son looked like Trayvon Martin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's taking that lady so long, man. It's not, and at this point, I don't even feel like it's a racial thing. I feel like it's a, it's a social thing because he connected with all the right people in Sanford County. So that's the real reason I feel like that it's not, you know, that it hasn't, that anything hasn't happened. Right, right. Like the right actions just haven't taken this course at all. Uh, you know, I get real. I get real serious about that Trayvon Martin situation, man, because that could have been any of us. I see it on your face. He's starting to get upset. Yeah, like it could have been any of us. As you should, as you should. So you you got a tape coming out, or what you you working Uh, on? Zero to sixty Mm -hmm. is coming. Um, I wanted to drop it uh, on four twenty, but I like this tape this time around, man. I didn't really put like I I didn't just put the tape out like because I wanted people to hear it. I Uh took my time. I picked my beats out and. I'm, you know, uh, this thing is going to be album status, man, J.D., I'm telling you. <laughs> from 1 to 13, it's going to be like, you remember how Beans albums? Yeah, yeah, used yeah. Used to put a Beans album on from 1 and it just bang it all the way yeah, to 13. Yeah. You don't got to touch nothing. That's how it's going to be, man. It's going to be crazy. That's, that's exactly what we were talking about yesterday. Like, artists don't spend a lot of time on their albums nowadays. And we right. need more artists like you because... Yeah. It's like they just put anything together just to have it out there, but they don't yeah. actually put their heart into it. They don't. They don't take their time with it. Yeah, this one was my baby, man. Like <laughs> yeah, the Sunday was a lot of feelings that I just had about a lot of stuff that was going on in my life. But this right here, I touched on the Trayvon Martin situation. I touched on um, 
just the state of hip hop right now. Like I really feel yeah, like it's, it's good. It's good that that people <laughs> actually rapping about the you know the issues and stuff like that. Cause yeah, you got man. these rappers out here that just making garbage. Yeah. They're just making am rapping I, about the watches. Am I, am I allowed to uh, say that Future sucks and that I feel like he's really killing the game right now? Like, you think so? Yeah, I think. Oh, I'm sorry. I feel like Future is. Is a, the epitome of what's wrong right now in the game. What about um, his his new CD is about to release too. I wonder how that's gonna. <laughs> what about your What about your boy uh, Tyler the Creator? <laughs> I actually like Tyler. You like Tyler. I don't I don't so much as like Tyler's music, but mm-hmm. I like the fact that Tyler is who he is, right? And he's not afraid to show it. Like I feel like that's what's wrong with the game, though. A lot of people are. They get in and they trying to put up this facade uh-huh. for people to just don't attach mind to. <laughs> don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> you should you should see my face, JD. <laughs> I got y'all. I got y'all. I got like y'all. no, seriously, man, they putting up this facade, man, and everybody's afraid to be who who they who really they, are. who they really really are. Yeah. Like and that's what you know. Like I said, man, I got zero to sixty coming, and this summer I got um another team that I'm gonna finish when I got the Cali palm trees and white papers, mm-hmm. and it's just like. <laughs> I'm talking about this, man. It's just like let's get back to the essence of hip hop. It's like, what, you know, what are you really saying? I'm, you know, I'm intelligent. I know what you're saying, but what are you really saying? You know? Yeah. And people got people got the gatekeepers got to challenge these young boys <laughs> to uh to really. The gatekeepers is getting broke, man. That's why they just letting everybody in. Yeah, they trying to take they everything. They and need. then they trying to hop on the track with the young boys because they popping now. Yeah, man, it's bad, man. But you know, you gotta support real movements, man. Like. Taylor Gang and like even with MMG, it's like Rick Ross put that thing together. He could have he could have signed anybody with that money that Warner Brothers uh-huh. gave, but he put that team together the right way. Eminem, look at how he put his team back together. Um, it's a lot of people coming together right now. Good music, you know. Yeah, true. yeah they, it's like they, you gotta they, follow the movements and <clears throat> and understand that it's a trickle down effect. Once once everybody see that the chemistry is rolling, man, it's easy for everybody else to drop underneath it. Now, do you what's what, what, what's your position, indie or industry? Indie, baby. Indie. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm indie. I'm gonna get mines from the muscle. You know, listen. Every time, I'm gonna get mines regardless, <laughs> regardless of what anybody. Three people could drop the same day I drop, and I'm not gonna set my expectations higher than what they really are. It's like if I know that. It's like I, if I know that I'm going to get this certain amount of downloads, I'm mm-hmm. still going to do that. I'm right, still going to do that whether he drop, he drop, he drop. I'm still going to do my numbers because my following is serious. Like Flyers flyers following is, is building, but it's serious though because it's like when we throw events, it's like we're going to pack it. That's what and it if is. we don't pack it, we're going to have it. We're going to have the manager like, listen, man, when the next time y'all coming back, I got something light for you. <laughs> All right, so we, we had planned to, to drop some of, some of your music. I had it in right. last night, but but we got to have you back up here, though. Oh, because, yeah, for sure. But but uh, it, it didn't, you know, technical difficulty. It did get loaded into the system. Okay. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, have you back up here. Uh, we arrange that, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, we definitely do so, that. Um, that's no more it. seizures. <laughs> None of that. Huh? Oh. So, uh, yeah, that's what it is. It's, do y'all do what Radio Morning Show, J.D.? Rosie Eye. Uptown get, Easy. We didn't even get to your hood news, Rosie Eye, but, you know. It's all good. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that tomorrow, you know I'm, what I'm saying? I'm the hood news manager. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had to get in my rapper bag real fast. Shout outs to everybody that support me. Happy birthday, Ari. I love you. Um, the Flyers, man. We in here, man. Shout we outs. next. Well, Uptown Easy, MC any, any, Rob Lowe. Any performances coming up? Yes, sir. I got um, I got the event on 420 mm-hmm. for um, all my Earth Day folks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> May 5th, the first Super Loud Dope Fest. It's going to be at Bluebell Park in Germantown. I'm going to make sure I get you a flyer so you can post that and we can go over the whole promo. Yeah, everybody got to come, gotta come out. I'm trying, to come back. I'm trying to come back before that, man, just so I can make sure that all my peoples at Whip Radio get in free. You know? That's, yep. All right, that's what it is. Because uh, you know we're going to be in there. Yep. Right, right, right. Me and Rosie, y'all will be in there. Yeah. Everybody from everybody from Whip probably say they be in there, but we will really yes. be in there. Yes. My man JD gonna be there, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Monday through Friday, we on, we on tomorrow, uh, yeah. 9 to 10 a.m. Tune in that Uptown Easy you intro is know. crazy. Yeah, shout out to Back Cave Studio. Yes, too, sir, man. yes, sir. Shout out to them. Uh, so, any, Rosie, you got anything? Uh, no. You got any shout outs? Uh, shout out to all my friends that are listening. All right, yeah, that's shout outs to all her friends that's listening. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's what it is. Temple News is up next. We out of here. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, we gonna leave you on this one. 
It's that Theraflu. Yeah. That Kanye West will get it. Uh, Temple, you get money anymore. <laughs> Temple News is up next. Keep it locked. All right, let's go.